वेरी गुड आफ्टरनून टू एवरी वन आई एम मयंक चौहान पी जी स्कॉलर फ्रॉम फैकल्टी ऑफ आयुर्वेदा इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ मेडिकल साइंस बी एच यू एंड आई एक्सटेंड वार्म वेलकम टू ऑल द पार्टिसिपेंट्स फॉर द फोर्थ लेक्चर इन दिस वेबिनार सीरीज दिस वेबिनार सीरीज इज होस्टेड बाय आयुर्वेदा नेटवर्क बी एच यू टूडे वी हैव डॉक्टर राजकला पाटिल मैम एज आर गेस्ट स्पीकर विद अस गुड आफ्टरनून मैम and i extend a warm welcome to you in this webinar series it is a great pleasure to have you as a today guest speaker ma'am is going deliver a topic decoding virechana essential insights for all i welcome you all uh, at the outset i would like to thank you the platform that is ayurveda network where i can share my clinical insights of virechana so for this i welcome you all who have connected to the live web page it's my opportunity and i feel it's my pleasure to share my knowledge with all of you what i have gathered in this 23 years of clinical practice so in today's the key points of today's presentation is what is the basics of virechana textual understanding of procedure clinical insights and practice of virechana assessment during virechana what we need to do and evidences of virechana effects what i have done in my clinical practice so what is panchakarma it's very important in ayurveda medicine as we all know without panchakarma we cannot treat a disease from the root so panchakarma eliminates the disease causing toxins and revitalize the tissue that's why it's very important to do the panchakarma in many diseases as purification allows biological system to restore homeostasis and rejuvenate rapidly facilitate desired pharmacotherapeutic effects of medicine is happening only with panchakarma why the panchakarma is superior in clinical practice as we all know the doshaha kadachit uktanti jita langhana pachanehi jita sanshodhanehi na tu tesham punarudbhavah the there is no recurrence of disease if we do the panchakarma in any disease and they, that is the radical treatment or which destroy roots of the disease that's what is called in the चरकाल सो दोषा द्रुमाणाम मुले अनुपहते सती रोगाना प्रसवाम च गता आगति ध्रुवा सो पंचकर्मा फॉर प्रिजर्वेशन मेन्टेनस एंड कंजर्वेशन ऑफ हेल्थ इज दैट इज द इम्पॉर्टन्स ऑफ पंचकर्मा और इट इज मेक पंचकर्मा मोर सुपेरियर एंड इट ऑल्सो प्रमोट द लॉन्गेबिटी सो वॉट इज विरेचना एज वी ऑल नो लाइक फॉर आयुर्वेद graduate virechana is a very simple meaning but when we go to the modern doctors and we say it's a virechana procedure and in that we have the purgations so they are worried how a patient can go to 10 20 or 30 times to the stool in a day so for them let me clear it is the controlled therapeutic purgation which called virechana in ayurveda and it is a widely used purificatory procedure in panchakarma and it is since ancient time it has been in use for the clinical practice in this process or this is the process which eliminates morbid doshas through adhobaga that expulsion of waste through the anal route because we have another route that is a oral route also we call as a vamana and this virechana is suitable for present lifestyle or busy schedule because it is very easy way to clean the human body and we need the less hospital stay as in vamana or in basti we need the regular hosp more hospital stay but in panchakarma or in virechana it needs it needs minimum four days of hospital stay will save the time of the patient so its historic historical root and significance of panchakarma of course na shuddhi una dashame cha atikranta saptam saptatu that means this panchakarma or this virechana should be done after 10 years and before 70 years in the patient for pitta or for pitta anubandha like uh, it is not only for pitta or pitta anubandha kapha pitta anubandha vata also this is advisable or this is significant and the fundamental principles of virechana is 
it is the holistic approach of ayurveda which we use in virechana of course the agni and koshta assessment is the basics of virechana without agni assessment and koshta assessment if one give the packages of virechana or if one give, give the protocol of virechana standard protocol of virechana that is not the ideal virechana and avastha of disease is also very very important i you routinely it has found like many students okay aapko virechan karwana ha chaliye panchakarma mein hum aapka virechan karwa denge that is not the way to do the panchakarma avastha of the disease is very very important in ama avastha virechana cannot be done it should be the nirama avastha and or in acute phase we cannot go for the virechana it, there should be nirama avastha and dosha pradhanta also for every each and every stage in today's lecture we will discuss at what what stage which stage we have to assess the dosha pradhanta dusha involved in the disease prakriti of the patient sattva of the patient satme of the patient and if we are not assessing this there will be the complication in virechana if sattva of the patient is not good and you give the last dose that is 150 or 180 ml patient will lie down on the bed on the last day of snehapana so it is very very difficult important to assess the each and every constitution of the patient which system is involved mainly in the disease is very important to assess whether we can not whether we can do virechana or not in some cases it is very difficult if it is the adhog rakta pitta if there is crohn's disease we cannot go for the virechana so which system is involved and at what dhatu level it is involved this we have to understand and strength of the patient of course we know that the disease is or it's like a skin disease and we need to remove more doshas but the strength of the bala is also very very important in in the context of virechana how many days a car can be kept in the garage why i told the car can be kept in the garage it is very important how much a person spend for the car he value the car that much so we i always ask how much how many you spend for your car if you if it is 50 lakhs okay then you can you can have the 50 days for your body in that way because we need the hospital stay during vir virechana and not if 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 cannot patient cannot stay in the hospital at least he has to take a rest for minimum 10 to 15 days that is that is what i mean that patient should be aware or should be ekagraman sa during that days how many days he need to be in the garage or in the home or in the hospital stay who can be benefited from the virechana ideal candidate for virechana is who can who is the sincere dedicated for the health or who can invest in the health a simply patient is taking ranitidine or antacid for the long duration for 10 years he is not ready, he is not uh, ideal for the panchakarma because he cannot have time to spare the time or some patient they are having urticaria and they are taking citrizin for years so that means they are they don't search for the option and those who are sincere or they want to do something i want to stop this citrizin i want to stop this antacid i want to stop this paracetamol such patients are eligible for the virechana disease of gastrointestinal system of course we have a very good result with gastrointestinal system skin diseases those who are suffering with autoimmune disorders those who are having hormonal imbalances those who are having non communicable diseases like lifestyle disorder or metabolic syndrome and many more these are the persons who who will benefited from the virechana then coming to the preparation of virechana explain detail procedure on the first day of visit what patient has to do what he has to not not to do that is what told in the shastra ushno the kopchari sad brahmachari kshapashaya ha nave grodh vyayama krodha shoka bhayat pan pravat yana yana adva bhashya atyasana sanstiti niche atich upadhana ha swapna dhuma rajanshi chi these are the basic do's and don'ts for panchakarma patient should not sleep in the day patient should not get angry patient should not be very a busy patient should not have the anxiety patient should not has to sit for longer duration as in the working culture of uh, bank and they have to sit from 10 to 6 we cannot do panchakarma for or they cannot undergo virechana so this only you have to clear on the first day of virechana only otherwise when you start snehapana and patient say no i am staying in the my office in is fully ac we cannot go for virechana 
so this has to be tell on the first day of irrigation only on zero visit only in the pro op in the pre operative dipana pachana choice of drug is very crucial part that we is very very important in bidachana we have the different kashayas aristas tablets powders which we can use for bidachana of course many i before i think one month or one and half month we had a very good very good elaborated discussion with one two physicians that why we need to go for the specific kashaya or churna or vati for the dipana pachana i will tell why it is needed and it is very very important it, it is there is a refer, reference for that in the classical text also we have to choose the proper langana or rukshana in the first phase that can be this langana or rukshana can be done internally or externally also in some time in some patients we cannot give the internal medicine for rukshana we can go for the external therapies also so the this these are the list of pachana drugs some are the katu pachana some are the tikta pachanas if the patient is having rheumatoid arthritis or autoimmune disease we cannot go for the lavan bhaskar or when there is the skin rash or uh, skin disease is there we cannot go for the lavan bhaskar churna so there amrutottaram where the guruchi shunti and haritaki is there that can be used for a pachana drugs to increase the agni to get the langana effect to get the rukshana effect chitraka divati can be used in when there is ama ama avastha shirishadi kwatha will be used when there is we are planning virechana in a patient of asthma or in the patient of ild or in the patient of copd there we can go for the shirishadi kwatha as a dipana pachana with some lavan bhaskar or amrutottaram kashayam or dashmul katutre kashayam sudarshan ghanavati can be used for the chronic cases of now what we are getting the viral fever or dengue or typhoid which is chronic patient is telling, yesterday only patient came that since i two years i am getting the typhoid positive and i get the fever recurrently in such cases the sudarshan ghanavati can be used for the long dipan pachana or rukshana trifala churna can be used in diabetes or kushtha in some cases the external therapies like udvartana bashpasveda for the obesity to enhance the rukshana effect and anyho mamsala medura burish leshmana visham agnya shasne ho shitash tan purvam rukshay tatha like the what ashtang rudya says those who are planning for sneha pana if they are having predominance of meda predominance of kapha those having chronic diseases or visham agni they should undergo the rukshana first so in in that case we can go for udvartana with bashpasveda in obesity case for till we are getting the nirama avastha lakshana or kashay dhara or dhanyamla dhara can be given in the patient of ra where there is severe ama avastha and severe pain is there in the patient to to reduce the pain and to make the patient eligible or to make the patient comfortable for the sneha pana this can be done udgarshana or siddhartha ka snana can be used for avagaha or parishika in the skin diseases churna pindasveda in the neurological diseases or muscle disorder diseases like fibromyalgia multi connected tissue disorders it can be used valuka sveda in ama avastha can be take can be given or vaitarana in ama ama vat ama vata or avian vascular necrosis of the head of the femur can be given as a external or can be given as a therapy or rukshana therapy before the virechana or before starting the sneha pana after this therapies and giving that medicines for near about how many days we have to give this medicine so it depend not on the day not for the 7 days not for the 10 days not for the 15 days it's till we are getting the symptoms vimale indriyata sargo malana laghavam ruchi shruttut sahodaya shuddh hrudaya udgara kanthata vyadhi mardavam it is very very important patient should get vyadhi mardavata before starting sneha pana if patient is not getting vyadhi mar vyadhi mardavata we should not start the sneha pana and he should feel the utsah tandra nashascha langite these are the symptoms when the patient is ready for the sneha pana and how clinically we will assess we will assess by the nadi nadi should be having lagvatva in nadi we will feel the laguta jiva jiva in jiva we can find out on the first day usually we get the samavastha or tongue coated and when patient finish the dipana pachana before sneha pana the jiva should be nirama should be niram or there should not be coating agni should be increased and there should be lightness in the body patient should feel that and stool consistency it is the 
parameter which we, we which will clear cut give the condition of the patient if patient says now my stool frequency is increased then it is the langana is happening properly and if patient says previously it was okay i used to go for twice but now again the previous constipation has started that means the langana pachana has been increased so we have to stop and we have to start the snehapana feeling of the patient patient should feel what is already i told utsaha should be feel menstruation date we have to again confirm in the females when is the menstruation date because routinely when we start deepana pachana patient if if she is not on the fourth fifth day of menstruation again the menses will come during the snehapana so at that time also at this time also we have to assure whether she finished only 10 10 15 days if she finished more than 20 days we should not go for the snehapana again we can continue the deepana pachana and in after next cycle we can go for the snehapana so now we have assessed when to start the snehapana and patient is ready for snehapana now the choice is when to use taila when to use ghee which ghee should be used which company how much it cost for the ghee this is all a physician should know not writing the ghee bring this ghee for the snehapana it should not be a physician panchakarma physician should know which quality ghee is available in the market and it is very best if some physician is preparing ghee by themselves that is the best part so taila will be used in the patient where kura kosha is there where maida is involved where mamsa is involved in mostly in diabetic patient with the sarso tail or tila tail we do in the obesity patient we do the tila taila for the tail taila pana or trifala taila it's not available in the market it's not getting easily available in the market so usually we prefer the patanjali uh, system oil so ghee mostly ghee is available with different companies and different uh, variety of ghee is available so we need 500 to 800 ml ghee for skin diseases we me we need more ghee so there we have to prescribe more than 3 to 4 bottle of the ghee so what which is nehar in the practice is indukantam ghee for the immunomodulator or immunity immunological disorders dadimadi ghee for rasa and raktagata diseases mahatiktakam for the skin disorders sacharadi taila for the neurological or ivdp cases dhanvantaram taila for the uh, neurological or spinal injury patients tiktakam ghee for the skin diseases again kalyanaka ghrita for the psychological diseases and infertility patients panchagavya ghrita for unmad and apasmara patients but bastyamayanta ghrita for the uh, urogenital diseases or the diseases of the uh, urinary tract then assessment of proper snehapana after giving first day second day third day fifth day seventh till seventh day the adhasas darshana adhasat sneha darshana sometime it may come on fourth day sometime on fifth day but time taken for the sneha digestion is very important in some patients on the second or third day only he will get the adhasat sneha darshana but that is not only the criteria to stop the snehapana the dose of the sneha should be like that the patient should get appetite after 12 hours of the ingestion and he should feel the lightness after taking after getting appetite and then with that he should have the adhasas nidarshan or ghee in the stool then only we have to stop the ghee reassess the kosha with this with sneha during the snehapana only we will assume that kosha is mrudu krur or madhyama so here again we have to previously we have assessed the kosha by the clinical assessment or history assessment here we will assess by the medicine or the upashaya anupashaya or the sneha assessment a yoga or ati yoga of sneha should be assessed ati yoga of sneha if there is ati yoga of sneha uh, sometime it happens we stop we ask patient to okay today you get you got appetite at 7 o'clock stop sneha tomorrow don't don't take ghee but again patient feel like okay it's only 110 ml or if we, if he is a doctor or student he say okay it's only 110 ml i will take for 150 ml minimum i should have 150 ml and he take next day also and then at yoga happens so there is in such cases there are chances of 
atiyoga of viracha also it because we have seen when we get the atiyoga of sneha or complication in sneha pana we are we always be ready for the complication in the viracha also there are the gap day because with this seven days or five days of sneha pana patient get exhausted patient feel like there is as klama vina asena klama it is regularly seen in all the patients so after that we have the three days gap in virechana which gives a revitalization to the patient just ask patient to because previously the patient will be shifting on the khichdi diet or only single diet so in this gap day patient can take the light food or healthy food what he like and he can have the three days of no procedure only abhanga abhanga and sweda will be there just prepare patient for the virechana day and for the samsarjana choice of sneha for abhanga again there are different tailas it should be it's not only for the swastha patient when we are doing virechana we can go for the murchita taila or murchita ghrita for abhanga but routinely in the for the disease specific abhanga when we are doing during uh, gap day also i prefer to go for the specific taila so eladikera tailam can be used for the skin disease skin disease patient dhanvantaram taila can be used for the neurological disorders kottam chukadi where there is amavastha or the chances of ama formation is there kottam chukadi can be used for the abhanga bruha sendhavadi in amavata or vata shonita amavastha can be taken to avoid the further complication pinda taila of course whenever there is vata shonita or rakta is involved pindatela or kshirabala can be used in babies and in the delivered ladies so diet on previous day of virechana as sushruta says atha aturam shuo virechanam paita asminiti purvane lagu bhojet phala amla ushnodakam cha enam anupaye so usually in practice what we say take the tomato soup or vegetable soup rasam if the patient is from south india or lemon rice on the previous day of virechana orange or mosambi juice or pineapple juice for those who cannot take the diet in the evening or those who are staying in the hostels or single room for them the juice can be work, can also work so on the day of virechana of course it's a shodhana day it's a auspicious day for us after the abhanga and swedana we usually pray we do the mantra charana then only we administer the patient uh, administer the virechana in the patient instead for the proper follow up for a day in that day only you have to give a chart how what to note when to note how to maintain the procedure so hot water when to take and how to how to take like i usually tell patient after every bout or when you go to every flush take a 20 or 30 ml of warm water or hot water whichever is suitable for you how to record procedure detail when what is the time when you go to toilet how many flushes you have and what is the color of your stool this has to be recorded after every vega 40 times will be calculation if you are not explaining this on the day of virechana the patient will come kitne bar gaye 40 se bhi zyada hue madam he because he have not recorded the time so that's why before administering the virechana aushada we have to explain this to the every patient and ask him what lakshanas he will come he will get during the virechana like first the stool colors will come or stool one two stool vegas will come then stool with the, that medicine color usually we prefer we give the trutavleha or avipattikar churna the color of trutavleha or avipattikar churna will come for the next 10 to 14 vegas then the light color will come and at last yellow color will come after when the yellow color comes to the stool the pungent smell or typical smell will come of the pitta and after that the white discoloration or white color light colored stool will come this you have to tell so that means we will understand how to tell to the doctor like how many times he has the stool because all the assessment is subjective it's not the objective assessment so these are the samyak lakshanas which patient get on the day of virechana stroto vishuddhi indriya samprasado laghutvam urja agni anamayatvam praptischa vita pitta kapha anilanam samyak virikta sa bhavet krame krame bhavet 
This is what the sequence we get in the clinical practice. First, the wit mala only come, then pitta only come, then ka, then medicines will come, and then kapha will come. So this is what the sequence. Then ayoga. If there is no vega, usually when we send patient to the home, if patient cannot stay in the hospital, this hap this always happen. So usually we should have the some medicine at least trutavleha or avipatti kurchurna or abhyadi modaka or ichcha bhedi. to give a yoga happens what to do during the first 2 to 3 hours otherwise next day again we can have to give the virechana if there is a pain routinely in a yoga there will not be vega there will be the pain sleep disturbance will be there and agni manda will be there post operative of virechana is some of course some surgeon a diet for vegetarian and non vegetarians we have the different diet 3 to 7 days we have to advise the post operative or samsarjana according to the number of stools or number of vegas he had on the day of virechana when till what time you have to give the samsarjana till the patient get patient get the prakriti sata or till he get the proper bala till that day we have to continue the samsarjana not like 3 days for uh, for madhyam shuddhi say 5 days for Three days for alpa shuddhi, five days for madhyam shuddhi, or seven days for the uttam shuddhi. It's not like that. Till patient gets the normal strength, we have to continue the samsarjana. Why and how to? It's very when we were student, we always thought why this has written in the uh, uh, charaka like yathand tarunam purnam taila patram yathevacho gopala yuva dandiga sarvasmad pacharata. Why why we have to be very careful in the virechana or in the panchakarma when we came into clinical practice we understand if if someone has any like a rhyme or any upama beyond that also how a mother cares for the kid it has to be written here because that that much chances are there for the complication and once patient get complication in virechana it is very very difficult to cure it i always tell the patient how a A mother, a mother take care of her daughter during the pregnancy or after delivery for six months or three months. That has to be followed in panchakarma, because I once it is the same when a sutika get a disease that is very difficult to cure. In the same way, if any com complication happens in the panchakarma during virechana, it is very difficult to manage it. That's why the patient doctor should be like how a, a Gopal take care of the cow that or how if we have a taila putra taila purna patra in your hand how you will carry it with that much awareness and alertness is needed for a physician for the panchakarma follow do's and don'ts to be followed for 15 days if patient says okay now today virechana is over tomorrow they have given me the special diet and he take warm cold water he is going to get the cold and cough and again the whole panchakarma whole procedure which we have already spent 21 days for doing the procedure is in vain so do's and don't should be followed for more than 15 days and sneha mante balaycha it is the duty of a panchakarma physician to give the sneha pana or shaman sneha after shodhana only virechana will never serve the purpose after it is written like sneha ante balaycha after every shodhana we have to give the sneha pana or shamana sneha to get the to avoid the cellular level vata complication after shodhana and then ask patient to come for the when he get normal diet and then we can ask patient for the consultation benefits of virechana of course we all know there is a potential benefit of virechana is it improve the digestion it remove the toxins from the body it and it we get the overall well being in the patients the risk and side effects there are the potential risk and side effects such as weakness and dehydration this is more for the vip patients or those having less sattva otherwise routine patient who are suffering with skin disease and he is suffering since 7 years 10 years he won't get any complication recently he diagnosed with a hla b27 positive and he wants to cure hla b27 hla b27 positive he comes to you and then he get the complication because this why this is so how sattva of the patient is involved that is the most important 
the importance of proper supervision is always very very important at every stage of virechana or panchakarma rescue medicines a physician always we have this chunti churna hingvash taka churna chitra kadivati kutach ganavati and lavan bhaskar churna this is what we all need during the panchakarma or during the at least virechana we need this that's all but the most important part is warm water warm water is the solution for all the complication if if i want to tell the patient how to manage the complication in home i will say this hot water is the amruta for you till you get the normal diet from the day of dipana pachana so mostly warm water will solve the many patient, many complications so what complication i faced i faced in the many patients during the virechana constipation as sneha pan during sneha pan if he is not taking the proper sneha and we are not calculating proper sneha then patient get the complication because already the diet is he is not on the normal diet so we have to in such cases the increase in the dose of sneha is only the solution no need of any medicine of course if patient gets the fever that means he has done some apachara so ask patient to follow the do's and do's and don'ts and if there is fever we can give some amapachana like sudarshana ganavati or something like that otherwise i always tell take the warm water and jiraka like cumin water for the fever also if there is a diarrhea during sneha uh, pana if it happens then takra and uh, trifala takra and pipali is the solution if it happens on the day of virechana that is ati yoga there very rarely it happens because it stop vega stops by itself only but if because dose is more or some patient has taken something misunderstood something then if there is diarrhea you have to give the kutaj ganavati liver function abnormality nothing to do with this just wait and give the pachana this will come to the normalcy skin rashes that means we have given the cho choice of drug is improper then only we get the skin rashes so in that case change the shift the patient from dipana pachana katu to tikta dipana pachana then this skin skin rashes will go pain in or sometime this skin rashes will come by as a uda uh, as a sheetha pitta also as if there is a ama for ama formation in the body during sneha pana then of course he get the skin rashes in such cases also we have to just give the pachana pain in abdomen give the jiraka darishta or jiraka di or lavan bhaskar or hingvashtak for the pain in abdomen menstruation in virechana is the regular complication if a physician is not aware of the this cycle so this is what complication we get sometime many females uh, they, they say like it is 12 days early i get menstruation and this happens in the sneha pana so again we have to wait for 3 days and again we have to do the sneha pana this is what complication we face the role of an ayurvedic practitioner of course the significance of consultation uh, consulting a qualified ayurveda practitioner is very very important for panchakarma there are many spa specialists many uh, general practitioners there are many qualified non qualified ayurveda practitioners i would like to say just go to the qualified ayurveda practitioner who already has done the panchakarma and do the panchakarma with them only otherwise i know like one pg one physician uh, she asked me once how you give the sneha pana 120 ml 150 ml then i told how you practice it then i told it is very difficult to drink, drink the ghee to the patient no then i asked what do you do she told me i keep the ghee in fridge and when it is like condensed i make the bowl of it and tell patient to drink this this should not be happen this will happen with a non qualified panchakarma physician only so uh, i appeal to all the scholars or students or vaidyas like see if patient wants to do the panchakarma if you are not able to do send him to the qualified person don't do the like miss happening of the panchakarma so emphasize on the personalized treatment plans of the panchakarma is very very important because a uh, uh, sop cannot be formed for the panchakarma or uh, what is we say is a protocol or we say it's a 10 days virechana yoga on if you see online many for, many foreign nationals there is a protocol 
10 days viration 10 days viration or 5 days viration a procedure $2000 4 days basti procedure i i don't know the cost this this is not the panchakarma this is not the panchakarma this is only this is something else which has the some uh, commercial background it's not the classical classical panchakarma so this should not be practiced post treatment care of course the post virechana care regimen including diet and lifestyle recommendation we have to explain to the patient and here are some real life success stories uh, which we have done in the with virechana vata shunita of course are affected since i remember i don't remember how many virechanas i have done but since 23 years i am doing the virechana and what what we get result from the virechana that's why i'm not sure about in which system virechana is work, working so in if it is vata shunita patient ra factor 300 what ra factor reduced to the 30 60 this is what happening with the virechana only so this is of course the exacerbation will come down and after 3 years there will not be very 10 or 20% remnant of the disease will there, will be there in diabetes hba1c comes down eczema of course there is no eczema after virechana in spinal injury also there will be improvement in the neurological symptoms in asthma many teachers i have seen or many uh, for many physicians we have done that like there will not be any recurrence of asthma attacks in ankylosing spondylosis we have seen the relieved in the stiffness and backache in ild patient the dry cough and cyanosis of course it reducing in preconceptional virechana i have done for my one pharmacist and she uh, she delivered a normal baby of 4.3 kg within the 11 months of the after uh, marriage so that's why before marriage we did the virechana in her and the baby is also very healthy so thyroid i have done virechana in hypothyroidism postpartum thyroidism autoimmune thyroidism and we are getting a very good result uh, uh, even though modern drug those the patient when i remember one patient she was she was taking sometime 100 sometime 150 150 sometime 125 mg and we after virechana she is stable with the 50 mg medicine and there is no any exacerb like up and downs of the uh, level also thyroid level also so it is that means virechana is working on thyroid obesity of course 4 to 6 kg weight loss we get in the virechana if prior to virechana we do the rukshana properly again there is 2 3 kg we will patient will lose lost there also hyperacidity if we do in the uh, virechana with hyperacidic in hyperacidic acidity of course the medicine will stop and there will not be acidity after virechana pancreatitis we are getting good result with the uh, with the virechana chronic fever there will not be fever diabetic foot i in next slide we will have the picture of the patient cellulitis also we have done virechana in cellulitis also and we are getting a better result this is a patients uh, with the stana vidradi in you can see in the slide that uh, on 23 423 stana vidradi before treat, before virechana and after mrudu virechana it is becoming normal and the patient was about to ha uh, patient was about to go for the uh, test and then then we told no no this is only the vidradi according to ayurveda we will do the virechana the patient is happy for this then unmada vandra gadit addict patient was there and we did the virechana and there was when he came to the opd he he was not able to sit and he was not able to sleep after the doing virechana he was taking the virechana that day and he he developed normal sleep there was no aggregation there was no violence with the relative and he was confident toward himself this is the patient of vata shunita with diabetes whose hba1c was 7.3 before virechana and 6.6 after virechana this is the this is the changes in the uric acid of one patient yeah same patient and this is the next patient of 13 year boy they were diagnosed with the plaque psoriasis and we did the virechana this was the before virechana pictures and this is on the right side we can see the after virechana pictures before like at the age of 13 also we can do the virechana with precaution and patient are getting the results so is a patient of migraine 
she she used to had the 10 to 15 episodes every month of severe head, headache and it was relieved only by injection dynapar after virechana there was very rare episodes of uh, headache was there at every month once at every month and that that too of mild grade and she she is telling like with uh, simple tele, taking seridon it is relieving so that that much virechana is doing in migraine also this is the case of diabetic gangrene or wound and uh, he, that patient came from the modern like he told i don't want to cut my finger so i will go for the ayurveda and after i think two three months his uh, finger is cured and he is now okay i think the same patient he went to the vaishnava devi and he developed the severe cyanosis or severe gangrene in the both uh, like uh, legs and after now after 10 days his leg is or his uh, nail bed is okay so this is the patient who wanted to lose the weight and she wanted to go for the pre bridal panchakarma and we did virechana with very kumkumadi tailam abhyanga dadi madi grita sneha pana and uh, like kshirbala uh, whole body abhyanga she lo she lost a uh, 5 kg weight and she is telling like body texture becomes more clear and radiant so this is a case of a uh, case of oustupaka this is was before virechana it was very severe and after virechana it we can find it's a very mild form myasthenia gravis patient came for the virechana i know i cannot cure all the diseases but virechana can give relief in the disease that's why i am doing the virechana after the this patient he is a 24 or 25 year boy and he got admission in some jaipur so he came for the virechana and after virechana he he is telling like he is feeling very fresh there was recurrent skin rashes on the back and he was not able to do his routine but now he is able to do his routine work the patient of shwita shwitra after virechana the uh, patches has become more red and reduced in the size so the case of case of vata shonita vata shonita again and this is the neuro lymphatic malformation i told i know i am i am not going to cure malformation but we just wanted to see what happens if we do the virechana if we remove the kleda what happens and this is the change you can see in the slides this again a case of gadet psoriasis this is before virechana and on right side you will find the after virechana how we assess the already i told you all how we assess so this is what pro forma we have developed for the assessment during panchakarma on the sneha sneha pana sneha pana patient name and age diagnosis days of dipana pachana has taken because with this we will understand what, how, what is the how is the agni of the patient nirama avastha whether it is present or absent and lakshana of rukshana vimala indriyata sargo malanam that we will write down here then we will ask patient to write take the feature of feature to be measure time of sneha taken on first day second day third day how many days he is taking we will see note the time of sneha taken amount of ghee taken time of appetite and ghee peene ke baad kitne bar stool aaye how many times patient visit the toilet aur usme ghee tha ki nahi to every day patient will tell to us next after this we humne usme ye bhi likh ke de diya ki kya nahi karna hai what to follow what not to do do's and don'ts isme dekhenge because itne itna first day batane ke baad bhi it happens when patient comes during sneha pana neend lag gayi thi so we all we give in a return what not to do okay so avoid day sleep all this thing take lukewarm water only on the day of virechana niche on the day of virechana this chart we give to the patient so with this what we like time of vega number of vega number of upavega i usually write time of vega number of visit to toilet and number of flushes and color of stool and any other complaint so with this and uh, we ask patient to give every two hourly give for give call to the doctor and our doctors take uh, 
consult uh, take a assessment like how many times patient went to toilet after this how many times he will go to the toilet so we will understand the process at every stage so with this the key takeaway from the presentation virechana is convenient panchakarma to practice our disease avastha and dosha predominance should be understand carefully panchakarma physician should be vigilant and aware always to get success in the procedure panchakarma is effective in many diseases so i don't have the disease where i cannot do the virechana chikitsa prabruto dhiman shastravan karma tatparaha naram virechayati yam sa yogat sukham ashnute if i can give happiness i would like to give to the patients that's why in this i would like to acknowledge ayurveda network and dhu for giving this opportunity to share or to be connected with all of you and of course i am happy that i am working in the bhu the esteem institute where it's a panchakarma is in developing stage and i am our department is now it's fulfilling all the structure infrastructure and power, manpower it is a good department now i this i acknowledge or i devote all this knowledge which i got in this years to my all respected teachers who taught me and who make me to sit here and talk to all of you i thank my all panchakarma staff for always helping in all the pictures and everything and i thank my all students who worked for me and who give who help who are the helping hand for me for the panchakarma thank you all thank you Uh, thank you, ma'am, for simplifying complex topic like virechana to reach our audience in a very easy and straightforward manner. Again, thank you, ma'am.